Jenny, it's remarkable to see how biometric identification has become such a central part of our daily lives. What used to feel like science fiction is now a reality. Unlocking our smartphones with just a fingerprint, checking into a flight with a quick scan of our faces, or even using voice recognition to access personal assistance. The technology has advanced rapidly, and it's becoming more integrated into systems we rely on every day. Absolutely, Ryan. Biometric identification has come a long way. Fingerprint scanning is still one of the most widely used forms, but the field has evolved significantly in recent years. Today, we have a range of biometric systems that go far beyond fingerprints. Facial recognition is now commonly deployed at airports and public spaces. Iris scanning is used in high security environments and voice authentication is becoming increasingly popular for financial transactions and virtual assistant interactions. These advancements aren't just enhancing security, they're also simplifying and personalizing the way we interact with technology. That's a great point, Jenny. What's really exciting is how biometrics are being applied to areas we never imagined before. For instance, researchers are now exploring body movement patterns as a form of identification. Think about it. Something as subtle as the way a person walks, types on a keyboard, or even holds a smartphone can be uniquely identifiable. This shift from focusing solely on physical traits to analyzing behavioral patterns opens up a whole new dimension for biometrics. It really does, Ryan. Behavioral biometrics represent a fascinating development. Unlike traditional methods that rely on static traits like fingerprints or facial features, behavioral biometrics are dynamic. They adapt to how a person naturally interacts with their surroundings or devices. For instance, gait analysis, how someone walks, could be used for identification in public spaces. Similarly, keystroke dynamics, how a person types, might become a key method for securing online systems. It's a testament to how diverse and innovative this field has become. And the pace of innovation doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Researchers are consistently uncovering new ways to identify individuals, and the potential applications are staggering. One of the most groundbreaking developments I've come across recently is the use of breath analysis for biometric identification. Researchers of Kyushu University have achieved identification accuracy rates exceeding 97% by examining the unique chemical composition of an individual's breath. Imagine being identified based on something as simple and non-invasive as your breath. This could revolutionize authentication methods. That's truly extraordinary, Ryan. Breath analysis as a biometric tool is an incredible leap forward, especially since it offers a non-invasive, rapid, and potentially cost-effective alternative to more traditional methods. The fact that volatile organic compounds in a person's breath can serve as a unique identifier is a testament to how much potential there is in biometrics. This could have applications in everything from healthcare to airport security. It's true, Jenny, but that's not all. Another fascinating area of development is brain biometrics. Researchers from Binghamton University in New York, USA, have discovered that unique patterns in brain waves, your neural activity can be used for identification. This technology could offer an entirely new layer of security, especially in environments where traditional biometrics might not be sufficient, such as military operations or high-stakes financial transactions. The possibilities are endless. Brain biometrics underscores how deeply unique each individual is, not just in terms of physical traits, but also in the way our brains function. This type of research pushes the boundaries of what's possible and reminds us that biometrics is still in its infancy. As technology continues to evolve, it's exciting to imagine what the future holds for this field. Absolutely, Jenny. From fingerprints to brainwaves, biometrics is redefining what it means to secure our world. It's thrilling to think about the journey so far and the breakthroughs yet to come. By the way, there's been significant advancement in fingerprint analysis. Researchers from Aarhus University have developed a new method to enhance the clarity of overlapping and faint fingerprints. It has been a long-standing challenge in forensic science. The method is based on a technique called desorption electrospray ionization mass spectrometry. The technique can also be used to analyze fingerprints collected on gelatin lifter. 
The gelatin lifters are used by police in many countries. This could greatly improve the accuracy of criminal investigations and evidence collection. Enhancing fingerprint ensures that critical evidence isn't overlooked due to technical limitations. Additionally, I heard about a revelation regarding fingerprint uniqueness. Researchers from Columbia University have built an AI system that challenges the belief that fingerprints from different fingers of the same person are entirely unique. This insight could have profound implications for forensic methodologies. That's a significant finding. It underscores the importance of continually re-evaluating assumptions in forensic science to ensure accuracy. Lastly, in the field of authentication, there's been progress in developing 3D biometric systems based on finger vein patterns using photoacoustic tomography. This method is almost impossible to forge and offers a higher level of security compared to traditional fingerprint scanners. Utilizing 3D finger vein patterns adds a robust layer of security. It's encouraging to see such advancements aimed at making biometric authentication more secure and reliable. The breadth of research in this space is truly remarkable and its applications are far-reaching. Jenny Biometric Identification is significantly transforming the banking sector, enhancing both security and user convenience. The digital transformation of banking has created vulnerabilities that cyber criminals are quick to exploit. That's why banks are turning to advanced technologies like biometrics to strengthen their defenses. Integrating biometrics like fingerprint or facial recognition with traditional pins can bolster security measures. This dual-layered approach not only strengthens authentication, but also provides a seamless experience for users. That's a compelling development, Ryan. In addition, companies like Idemia are developing payment cards equipped with fingerprint recognition. These cards allow for secure and convenient transactions, eliminating the need for pins while maintaining robust security. Indeed, such innovations are transforming how banks approach security and user authentication. By leveraging unique biological traits, institutions can reduce their reliance on traditional passwords and pins, offering a more secure and user-friendly experience. Absolutely. However, it's crucial to address privacy concerns associated with biometric data. Banks must implement robust data protection measures to ensure customer trust as these technologies become more prevalent. Another exciting development is the integration of biometrics for compliance purposes. Biometric systems are helping banks meet Know Your Customer and anti-money laundering requirements by providing precise, real-time identity verification. This not only improves security, but also streamlines operations. It's worth noting how biometrics are also aiding in financial inclusion. In regions without widespread ID infrastructure, biometrics provide a reliable way for underbanked populations to access banking services. This technology is truly transformative. Biometric identification is also significantly transforming the travel industry, enhancing both security and passenger convenience. For example, Dubai International Airport has implemented an iris scanning system that allows travelers to use their eyes as passports. This eliminates the need for physical documents during departure, expediting the boarding process and minimizing human interaction, a particularly important feature in the context of health and safety. Similarly, facial recognition technology is already available at various airports. Passengers simply insert their ID into a slot and look into a camera, allowing the system to verify their identity without direct interaction with TSA e-officers. This approach enhances security while streamlining the passenger experience. The adoption of biometric systems in travel is clearly on the rise. However, privacy concerns remain a challenge. Ensuring that data is handled responsibly and securely is crucial to maintaining passenger trust. I agree. Balancing technological advancement with privacy considerations is key. As biometric identification becomes more integrated into travel, establishing robust data protection protocols will be essential for its success. 
The field of biometric identification is evolving rapidly. It's clear that biometrics are no longer just an add-on. They're becoming the foundation of trust in digital ecosystems across banking, travel, and beyond. The benefits from enhanced security to improved convenience are undeniable. It's an exciting space to watch. As researchers continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, the impact of biometric identification will only grow, shaping the future of multiple industries.